Hey guys, so today's gonna be a guide on how to do the custom guns in CSGO. So basically, what would happen is you'd have a normal M4, but you can actually change it to a custom model that somebody else built. So it, you know, has custom sounds, little graphics and all that. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that real quick. Alright, so the first thing you're gonna need here is a plugin called Custom Weapons Menu, and this is just gonna be the base plugin that I use for the weapons. And this plugin actually requires another one called First Person View Models Interface, so you're gonna need this as well. And then the where I personally get the skins from is from Game Banana on server side weapons. If you can find another place to get them, go ahead, but I just found these to be reliable. So you're going to start by uh, downloading this, and then downloading this, these two plugins right here, and then you can pick whatever gun you want. I'm going to go with this uh, DSR-50, which is not really a DSR-50, but I'm just going to get it anyway. So right here are the downloads. Uh, you would put in your server. I'll, I'll show you that later. Uh, it might also come in the download. So if you download this, these two things you can just drag your desktop and then we can put them in right now. So once all those things are downloaded, you can go to your skin that you just downloaded and then get the fast download side and drag all that to your whatever file host you use the f CSGO fast DL and then once this finishes we can just start working on the CSGO server so once you're in your CSGO server you can um, open up the skin and go to server side and then you can drag these into the CSGO directory and then the first person models interface you would go to CSGO add-on source mod and then you can drag these two folders into somewhere in here. I already have them, so I'm not going to do that. And then these four right here, you can just drag into here as well. So one thing to make sure that you do, oops, is to go to your CSGO config and then your server config. And make sure, make sure on the bottom right here you have your download URL set and these four things I use just to make sure the downloads go through but I don't think that they're all necessary just make sure you have your download URL set to where all your stuff is being uploaded so the players can download them so your next step is to actually set up the plugin itself so you can go to CSGO add-on source mod configs and then this one right here frantic custom weapons and then the configuration yours is going to be a bit different it's gonna have a bunch of stuff right here I went ahead and it just erased everything except for one right here I called it weapon m4a1 the name of the skin and the path to it so right here's the path so for example if I get the skin out and I go to server side it says models it says weapons m and m is uh, DSR 50 and then wherever v underscore dsr 50 dot mdl is at which i believe it's right here so this is what i would use so i'm going to go ahead and create a new skin weapon and this it's whatever weapon the skin is for so i, I think this is for the op i can call it dsr 50 i mean i think you can call it whatever it doesn't really matter so remember the path was models weapons m and m and then right here we change this to DSR underscore 50. And then right here, I'm gonna rename and then copy that text. And then there's that, except it's not W, it's V. Yeah, I believe that's correct. I, I, I always mess up here. But I, I think that's right, it looks right. So now you uh, you open up your downloads and then you can make a new section for whatever skin you just made. And then usually uh, with the download, it'll be like a readme or a downloads or something like that. And all these right here, 
you're going to copy and paste them into here. And so that way all the stuff will be downloaded. So as you're loading into the server, you should see things being downloaded on the bottom right. And you can actually check in your console as well if you open it while you're loading in if things are being downloaded. Sometimes it'll say download fail, download finish, download fail, download finish. As long as a few of them say download finish, I think you should be good. At least that's what I've learned in my experience. So now um, to try it, get the gun that you set the skin for. And you can do exclamation point custom weapons, I believe. And then op and then dsr 50 and there it is it's actually looking pretty clean has a bit of a different shot noise reload animation and sound so yeah there it is